All right. Uh, here's this 1977 G20 van. I've been telling y'all about this van. I got this thing uh, a few weeks back. And uh, just real quick, I'm going to try to be quick on this video. I'm burning up. It's hot. Uh, it's 95 or 6 degrees right now. And it's very humid. So I've got my fans off in the garage just so y'all can hear me. Uh, so it's extremely hot in here. It's like an oven. So anyway, 77 van. I got this van off Tim Dixon. He got it uh, from a neighboring county. There was a drive-in out there. It's called the Midway Drive-In, or maybe they called it the Swinging Midway Drive-In. I really don't remember, but uh, I went there as a lot as a kid, uh, even on into my teenage years. Uh, I'd been to that drive-in. Um, they used to have a flea market there, uh, like on Sundays or something. Been a while since I've been out there, but I do remember this van. Uh, they had it out there, and it they just kind of let it set around. I don't really remember its purpose. It would be at the concession stand or, you know, maybe they had it piled full of flea market stuff. I really couldn't tell you. I do remember the van being out there, uh, but, you know, as far as what all they used it for, I really don't know. They had something down the side of it here. See these screws? And then all, all of these screws. There's one, two, three, four, five here. Me and Tim were talking, we thought maybe they had made a locking mechanism for the door here uh, to lock it up, maybe at night or something. Sorry, guys, lost my flip-flop there. So I went and picked this van up today. I got it home and was going to unload it off the trailer. The ignition module was bad. Uh, I, I stopped. I put $20 worth of gas in the tank, which I never do. I just wanted to kind of get the van up and running so I could move it around here on my property. Uh, didn't, I wasn't really interested in getting it, you know, running up and down the road. I just want to be able to move it around here. So I just went ahead and put some gas in the tank. I'm going to put some filters, uh, in the line, maybe two, uh, maybe just one, but try to get two in there somewhere. And, uh, the reason being, I rebuilt that carburetor. It's been some time. The breather is just kind of laying on there. It looks kind of, uh, goofy, but I've got the top. It's laying over there. That, uh, rod coming up out of the carburetor. I can't get that bottom off. So it's just kind of flopped around. Uh, anyway, I put an ignition module in it. Let me just tell y'all how I've done the ignition module. I got guy, I had a guy get kind of, uh, upset with me because I don't explain what I do. It's hard to video and do the work. So if you're going to put it in ignition module and it's my block Chevrolet, uh, pull your cap off. Of course, unhook your wires here pull your cap off, pull your rotor button off. You're going to have a, a, a an, ignition, an ignition module down in there. And uh, it's got two quarter inch bolts and uh, wires coming on both ends. Unhook the wires, take the bolts out, replace the ignition module, put your rotor button back on it, put your cap back on it. You're good to go. So um, it runs good. I did pull it off the trailer. The clutch is a little bit weak. Uh, the valves are just a little bit chattery, but again, guys, this thing has set for so many years. And then Tim got it. He ran it just a little bit, just enough basically to pull it out of his shop and around back. So uh, plugs, wires, may go ahead and pull the carburetor back off, maybe not, because it, like I said, it does really good. It idles well if you fill the bowl up, uh, you know, out of like a priming bottle. It idles great. And... Uh, as far as revving it up and pulling it in the garage, it done good until it ran out of gas. So maybe I'll leave that alone. But again, plugs and definitely wires. I may go ahead and buy another AC Delco ignition module. Uh, that's just an old module I had laying around. Uh, it's working right now, but I'd rather have a new one. Uh, if the van does good, uh, once I, I, well, it needs a fuel pump. It looked like somebody put a fuel pump on it, but it's not getting fuel to the carburetor. So go ahead and change the fuel hoses, the fuel pump, and as long as it runs good and, and yard drives good, I'll get a uh, clutch pressure plate throw out bearing, maybe a pilot bearing and uh, put in it. Might reseal the three speed. Uh, and I meant to say this at the beginning of the video, this van is a 350 three speed on the column. And that and this old ugly stripe kind of attracted me to this van. It's, it's nothing special, guys, but I've been looking for something to kind of carry me back and forth to the uh, swap meets. Uh, we have several of them here local, 
and I would like something like this. I could pile some stuff up in the back, and if I get home and I'm tired or it's hot or cold or whatever the case may be, raining, I can just leave it in the van uh, till the next one or until it's convenient for me to, uh, you know, to unload it. So, again, here's some... I don't know what in the world they had going down the side of this thing. Maybe a canopy. Who, who knows? There's no telling. This van has put in its work over the years. It's really clean on the bottom, looks like. Uh, not really a whole lot of dirt and grime. It's showing 77,000 miles. I would venture to say those are probably original because, like I said, this thing spent a lot of its life at an old drive-in. Uh, so... I guess my plans, other than right now, right now at this very moment, I just want to get it to where I can move it around my yard, my driveway, whatever. Just move it in and out of my way. So basically a fuel pump, uh, that's about it. Just throw a fuel pump on it, see if I can get, you know, good fuel to the carburetor, a fuel filter, and be able to move it in and out. Now, uh Later on, I would I would definitely like to get it cleaned up, scotch bright it, uh, you know, top to bottom, uh, with some Dawn dishwashing liquid, and then put some Penetrol on this thing. For what I got in it, and for what it's what purpose it's going to serve, I can't hurt it. I mean, even if I go backwards, I can't hurt this old van. It's been beat up, uh, rode hard, and put up wet, but you know, it's like I said, it's served its purpose. So. Uh, later on, I want to get some new tires put on it, maybe some dog dish hubcaps. I thought about maybe putting my 20 inch coys off my 56 on it and buying some torque thrust wheels for the 56, but this thing's really going to have to impress me before I do that. Uh, you can see the old uh, magnet on the door. I'm going to peel that magnet off. You can see where some moisture kind of got hung under that thing and, and rotted that. The surface of that door, it's not really through the door, it is pitting, but uh, no real holes. So I'll get all that peeled off and uh, scuff that down. The penetrol will stop the rust. Maybe I'll, you know, spray a little white paint over top of it. I don't know. But uh, just a really kind of a basic old van. I'm going to take this carpet up and uh, get rid of it. I have no use for that carpet. It All it does is hold moisture. Uh, the floor is good and solid. I haven't really found a soft spot yet, so... Uh, get that carpet pulled up, may paint uh, that floor if it's, you know, rusty underneath. I don't believe it is. I pulled it up over there. It looks good uh, as far back as I can pull it. So I think I'll be okay. But I thought about maybe putting one more seat over here for like a third wheel or maybe just a short little bench seat. But I doubt it. I would like to just keep it all open. Uh, I usually take quite a bit of stuff with me to swap meets. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what the future holds for this old van. Uh, eh, stupid door. Hang on. There we go. So, uh, the biggest thing is right now, again, the fuel pump and just being able to move it uh, around here. But I will eventually uh, put brake hoses on it. Most of the brakes look kind of new. I had the rear... Uh, wheel off and the hub because it was stuck and then I had this front wheel off because the tire was blown out So I had to put another wheel and tire on this is actually the original spare so uh, All that stuff looked fairly new. I'll go ahead and put new hoses on it uh, front and rear a new master cylinder it's shot and just kind of see what we have I'll probably go ahead and put new rear new rear wheel cylinders on it say that ten times fast uh, but the pads, the rotors, all that looked good and, and looked like they had been replaced. So, uh, worst case, I might pull those calipers apart and uh, clean them up and put them back together. If I do, I'll do a video. But uh, if they're sticking and, and, and causing too much trouble, I may just replace them. But anyway, fuel system, uh, the fuel sending unit, the, the gas gauge works. So the float on the fuel sending unit works. I don't know how clean the tank is. No clue. Uh, it's a big tank, uh, but I think I have a good one out here on my box truck. If not, I think you can order these tanks now. Used to, you couldn't. But anyway, hopefully that tank's good. Um, I'll get the filter on it, kind of see what the gas looks like coming out of the tank, and uh, decide whether I'm going to pull the tank or not. I will go ahead and replace the rubber hoses from the tank to the front and uh, put a new fuel pump on it. Just, again, see how it runs. And then 
if it does good, I'll go ahead and put a new clutch, pressure plate, throw out burn, and I may go ahead and reseal that three-speed and just drive the old van for a while. Uh, and again, Scotch Bright it, Penetrol, possibly those Koi's. I don't know yet. It's a lot of trouble to lower one of these, as I learned a little earlier today talking to Tim Dixon. You actually have to either channel the floor back here, or Tim said he would just raise the entire floor up. You know, so your your rear axle would clear it. Uh, as you can see, it's 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 right on top of it. So that's either going to have to be uh, sectioned, channeled, whatever, and uh, raised up in one spot, or just raise the entire floor, which wouldn't bother me too bad. But that's a lot of work, it's a lot of money. The old van really ain't worth all that. But we'll see what the future holds for it. It's got a little rust in the kind of under the door there. I guess I'd call that the rocker panel. A uh, little bit on that step. But other than that, it seems pretty dang solid. It's really not that bad. Anyways, give me your opinions on this old van. What would you do with it? It's got a good running 350. Uh, the three speed ain't worth nothing, but, the you know, you've got a good running 350, so that's worth a few dollars. Would you just tear it apart? A uh, good rear end that I'm satisfied would fit a C10. Um, Good storage shed, I guess, once you took the motor and stuff out of it. Or would you, you know, fix it up, which is what I'm going to probably do. But, again, just give me your opinions on what you do with it. Guys, I'm going to get in the house. I am burning up. I'm pouring sweat. Uh, we're going to actually shoot a few fireworks and then get in the house. Happy Fourth of July. Uh, Y'all enjoy your freedom, and uh, remember those who fought for it. As always, I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.